All right, y'all, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. We have been going wide open for the past like two weeks straight. A lot of building, a lot of stuff getting done, a lot of racing, a lot of traveling, and you're gonna see that in tomorrow's video because we go and test the black sheep even more. Uh, but for today's video, I'm gonna change it up and do it a little bit different. Um, I was down at the US Street Nationals with Ben and Logan. My parents were there. Uh, and Sunday was uh, when we were running first round of the No Time class. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen uh, Justin's video or there's a couple videos out there. But we pulled Mike Stravinos, his, his partner in the whole deal. They kind of run together with Alcatraz, and uh, he has a car, Al Capone, which is a nitrous big block uh, car on 28s. And uh, we drew him first round. This was our third pass on the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you see the footage. Uh, i let you see the race. We got it from, I didn't have anyone to film for me, so I got an in-car of the, um, the GoPro facing mic, and then I got the footage from uh, Speed Video, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, so we're watching that and then I just want to talk to you guys a little bit more and then kind of give you guys an update here because tomorrow's video will be a long video of testing the bad apple and the black sheep. So hopefully this one will kind of slow it down. You'll still get your racing fix. You'll still see the past and all that, but you can uh, maybe slow it down a little bit and I know I can slow it down maybe just kind of chill for a minute because it has been absolutely crazy. I haven't slept in my own bed in like, uh, like seven days maybe. So I, we've just been on the move all the time and uh, my team is awesome that they can uh, you know we all push each other to be better and uh, be able to do this so it's awesome let's check out this pass and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy heavy street to the lanes please heavy street to 11 and 12 Torino's coming on the right hand side of the Deerfield Beach, Florida. Coming on the right, the big black Chevrolet right there. Space power plant right there, big country doing the tune. And John Doc will be coming to the left hand side right here there with North Carolina. Buick Grand National. Let's see the Grand National can put him on the trailer, man. Everybody is always scared of Stravinos and the Swanstrom Racing Team, the Swan Gang. Make sure to like him on YouTube. Here we go. Let's see if they got this thing figured out. Turbo Chargers in, here comes the Nitrate Sky, Green Toss, look at Sturminos, he's out, here comes the Turbo Car, is it going to be, it's going to be, Mike Sturminos says, see you later baby, with a gap, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> As you guys saw, got my head absolutely lopped off at the tree. Head is still, my head is still on the start line in Florida, sitting right there in Bradenton. Um, terrible light. I went uh, 116 on the light. I think Mike went like a, a double or like a, an 016, so there's a tenth difference right off the hit. Uh, third pass on the car. We didn't have any time to test the bump. Now, I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling you exactly uh, what happened. We didn't have any time to test the bump box. 
we hit it the pass before and it bumped pretty far in um and i lately i will say i've sucked on the bump box i just haven't been able to get my bump box settings figured out right uh they correlate with the two steps when you change the two step the bump's going to act different uh so i haven't on, like, on all the cars across the board i haven't really had the bump like figured out like i used to i used to have the bump like where i'd barely just go in and you can get real consistent reaction times and help the 60 foot and help your et and all that stuff so i've definitely been lacking there uh but this situation we were we were low on time um and on all the other cars, I don't hold the brake with my left foot when I bump. I just mash it and I put my foot on the dead pedal or just hold it above the brake in case anything happens. Uh, being that this car is bumping so hard, I was standing on the brakes as hard as I could trying to like make it bump less and make sure it doesn't rock in the beams. Um, and for me, that's an extra step. Uh, so this one in particular, when it bumped, it felt like it bumped super far. And I was like, holy smokes, I'm going to go deep. And then I wasn't deep. And... I literally took my foot off the brake and let go of the trans brake at the same time. If you go back and watch yesterday's video, I bump in with my foot on the brake and then I take my foot off the brake and I'm still on the trans brake and then I just let go of the, the button. Uh, so, uh, I was overcomplicating it for myself, but regardless, regardless, I mean, we got smoked there. Uh, Mike had a great pass, went went down and through, uh, cut my head off, definitely went faster ET. Uh, so that's awesome. They, they got that thing rolling nice. Uh, but we went a tenth faster every single pass we had three passes and we started off we picked up a tenth from the first pass on the second pass then we picked up another tenth from the second pass to the third pass so that is absolutely awesome huge gains uh super proud of ben logan myself everyone uh just couldn't be happier to go down there a completely untested car and have it go down three times uh, we didn't have any crazy tune-up. We had it, like, pretty conservative down low. I think, like, this 60-foot was uh, the most aggressive, which was, like, a 114 60-foot. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that just shows you where the car has a ton of potential to go really fast. Uh, we are kind of, like, hunting the hydraulic roll record, uh, which is, I believe, right now, a 438. Uh, but... I do want you to keep in mind, just remember this, I said each pass we picked up a tenth, we made three passes tomorrow, uh, I already filmed tomorrow's video, and uh, I believe I do tell you what the first pass was, so if you guys pay really close attention, you watch every video, you'll be able to pick up what the car is going, because we haven't really publicly released the time on this car yet, and that's out of respect to all the other No Time Racers and everything like that. Uh, I do like telling times a little bit, you guys got me in that, like, telling times is cool situation, because uh, I think it is, it's, it's nice to let everyone at home know there's a lot of people that put hard work into this stuff. There's a lot of companies that get behind us with awesome products. And I don't feel it's all, always fair to not let their product shine, not let everyone know how awesome their product is. Because everyone wants to see results. They want to see how fast it goes. They want to see the number. They want to see the mile an hour. That's just how people are. And, and I've come to understand that. So that is what we uh, that's what we got going on. But overall, amazing weekend. Thank you guys for all the support. You guys have been watching a ton of videos. Uh, as a return, as a little give back, I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, I believe next week we're going to do a giveaway. Uh, we're trying to get the car ready to go to Georgia. Uh, we're going to go to Lights Out. Uh, we're going to run the Small Block Blues, Carolina, no time. Um, we're still testing on the car. I think as, after testing yesterday, we only have six passes on the car total. Um, so... Uh, be sure to check out that we we, we laid down a number down uh, in South Carolina at Carolina Motorplex yesterday. Uh, so that is all that we have going on. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I tell you what, it's so relaxing just to sit here and watch this video and make this video for you guys and have you guys be able to watch it. Holy crap! Who the hell is that? Who is that? Let's go get some water, man. Who? What are you? Down. What are you doing here? Ah, a little turbo kit, little turbo kit. Little turbo kit. Yeah. Let me ask you this: Are you pleased with the black shoe performance this past weekend? I am. Yeah. Went out, nothing broke. Come back, good times. You said it right there. Go out there and test the car. Nothing breaks. Put it back in the trailer. Go test again. It's nothing successful. breaks. Yeah, you can't go wrong there. Yeah. So now, I think we're gonna get we're gonna get you to rescale it because we didn't scale it after. I didn't yeah, tell anyone we this. To, we, we didn't scale it after the Hemi. Yeah, we still had it set up just like we had it with the Hemi in it. So. It was definitely that's, that's a big plus. We can, we can say that. Might have to make a, a bar adjustment, some suspension adjustment, but I think we'll be all right. Well, listen, we got the hook book Jesus here. So literally, even when you set it up for a Hemi, it'll hook with an LS. You literally are the hook book. I mean, you just put something <laughs> on there, it'll hook. He's gonna set it up for a Coyote motor, and it's gonna hook with an LS. I mean, that's just how it goes. So thank you for for putting work with that. The car drives super straight, like on rails. 
every pass, and that's what you kind of when we first got the car, Jason came in here and and got it all scaled up, and and what you you string it, make sure everything's square. Yeah, made uh, made some bar adjustments. Uh, of course, we put the new mincers and everything on it, and redid a bunch of stuff on the front end. So worked out good for us. And well, there's big things to come from the black sheep, and oh, big changes to the salty chicken. I didn't even tell them that's going to be a whole nother video. So yeah. we got an action packed week this week. We're going to be checking out Jason doing a turbo kit on Cornbread's Mustang. Uh, I think we got the Silver Vet up and running. Uh, we do some testing. The Bad Apple's good. The Black Sheep's good. Uh, and then we talk about the Salted Chicken some. So we got an action packed week. Hope you guys stick around. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. The videos and views have been through the roof lately. And um, that's going to be awesome. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.